Hello and welcome back to my channel where we are going to start the kinesiology lecture series. In lecture number 1, you will be able to know about what the kinesiology is and the type of motions that are important for the human body and the importance of the kinesiology for a physiotherapist. As the kinesiology words came from the Greek language, the kinesio means movement and logi means study. By word, its definition is the study of the movement. If we want to elaborate the definition, the kinesiology is the study of the movement with respect to the physical sciences. Kinesiology brings together different fields like anatomy, physiology, mechanics, geometry, physics and many other fields and relate them to the movement of the body. Kinesiology utilizes the principles of biomechanics, musculoskeletal anatomy and the neuromuscular physiology. For example, in biomechanics we will be able to study the amount of force acting, the direction of force that is acting on the body or the particular part. In musculoskeletal anatomy we will be able to know which structure is causing the movement. And neuromuscular physiology will tell us about the mechanism behind that movement. The types of motions here we will discuss are the linear motion and the angular motion. The linear motion as the name indicates is a motion in a line that is also known as translatory motion. It has further two subtypes the rectilinear motion that is the movement in a straight line for example dragging of a box or a curvilinear motion uh, that is the movement in a curved path the example is the kicking of a ball if we want to see the example in a human body then the rectilinear motion is the simple flexion and extension movement and the curvilinear is the diagonal pattern or the eating something or putting something in your pocket you will move your hand in a curved path the angular motion also known as the rotatory motion is the motion around the fixed axis as the rotation of the fan in a human body the rotation of the neck is the example of the angular movement. Now the importance of the kinesiology. Why the kinesiology is important for the physiotherapist? Because it helps us to improve the human function and the performance. It also helps to reduce the risk of injury or disease. And it helps in the rehabilitation and how a physical therapist can do that by understanding basis of motor skills and basic principles of mechanics and by evaluating muscular imbalance and derangement and treating it accordingly as we have discussed earlier kinesiology brings together different fields if we knew about the anatomy about the mechanics and about the mechanism behind that movement then we can achieve the above mentioned targets as it provides us knowledge about the link between the human structure and the function which structure is causing the movement and how the function is occurring the mechanism behind that function about the therapeutic application where to target and how to target and about the structural motion 
the structural motion that includes the specific movement that occur on a joint and about the muscle function by using this knowledge we can do a better therapy to the patient if you like my video then like comment and share and for more videos subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you